with me, I'll be up there. As you can see it illuminated up at the top of the hill. weather and um, be reading on social media that there may be a problem because it's all wet and grass so this weekend we decided that we wanted to come to Whitby Abbey or to Whitby um, it's the goth weekend and we took a gamble to see if we could get some parking and we've arrived and we've got some parking we're in the Whitby Abbey car park and uh, it's just to the right, I mean, it's all illuminated, but I'm sure we'll show you at some point. Yeah, when we have a walk around. Yep. We'll take you with us. We haven't found Dracula yet. <laughs> so we're here at Got the, uh, Whitby Goth Fest, and Dave's uh, just been back to the bar at the brewery. It's a Thursday night and we've got here a day early, so we're just filling the gaps with a few pints. What you got me, Dave? I've got you a Whitby Whaler or a Trilogy Blonde. Right, I'll have a sampler and both and I'll let you know which one I want. <laughs> I'll get the leftovers. Yeah, exactly. Sample them. Which one's that? That's the Whitby Whaler. Right. That's got... Lovely flavours and other tones. We're experts at beer, we will be soon, won't we? This is a trilogy blonde. It's got a lovely hoppy taste. A nice tang to it. Which one do you think I'll like? I could drink either. I think you're going to leave me with the trilogy blonde. That's do you reckon? My guess. Yeah, it's a bit tangy that. There's just a bit yeah. of a perfume kind of thing going off like with that. that. I can drink either. I'll Hardly. just have mucky beer because that's what I drink. <laughs> so we've just walked down some steps into Whitby from up at the Abbey car park and it's starting to busy up. Seen the fishing trips that um, are leaving today at five o'clock if you fancy you know, a bit of uh, a sea day. Hello. Just across the road from where we've just seen where they are um, we're in the fishing trips. It looks like we've found the weather films. Walking past here, oh, how cute is this little shark? Built and bridge. Really quaint. And then you've got errands across the road. <laughs> so, I think these are all monuments to do with the uh, Captain, is it Captain Cook Museum? I don't know what they said they were now. Anyway, you can see how far we've come because we're staying up there near the Abbey. So we've come down a lot of steps, crossed the swing bridge, and come up the other side. So we're just um, at Whitby Pavilion and we're going into the alternative Gothic market to have a little sneak round.
Then we go up road. Or oh, stepped. I think I'm better on steps. Road looks a bit lethal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the bike and the night eater is on and toasting us up. And we're just going to have a few Scooby snacks. So we've got a few bits that we've got. Some hummus, some tapas, a bit of smelly cheese, garlic, a bit of Spanish tapas. Yeah, we're going to keep the vampires away, definitely. <laughs> Well, it's 9am in the Abbey Car Park and there are a few weird and wonderful sights I wish to share with you. I do like seeing this lovely old comma camper that's been there a couple of days. generally quite busy. There are some really distinctive vehicles. There's ours. Creeping in shot. Oh, we've got a little, you see down here, you see the older Winnie Bear girl, RV. It's just streaming with them. They constantly keep turning up and going. There was actually a tent just there. This is a distinctive motor conversion. And the style of the car. Fellow Talbot here, there, and this one. Oh, very distinctive. Bit of Americana, the Chevrolet. Well, that's a bit cheeky, driving up the path. It's like a big synergy of new and old. And uh, there's a gaggle of pop-top VWs there. I think that is the collective term for it. Plenty of people make use of the levelling ramps. That's one thing I've not yet done, so we've just tolerated the list so far. You know, and when parking's tight, there are a few resourceful individuals and kudos and credit to them. Making the most of everything. See the road's got a few, a few parkers on it. Enjoying a freebie.
That's really good. Oh yeah, that's a very gothic themed transit there. I remember seeing that one come in. Oh. Interesting to see where it actually ended up parking for the night. There's a retro camper there. And this bit here. Yesterday, all up there, it's quite muddy up there, there was a van that got stuck. Just where that van is there. Seems to be struggling for traction. I'm surprised he got out because he looked to be going down the slope. So that's all bed put away. Just about tidied round a few cables and things, but a bit of cereal on the table ready and I'm gonna check these bumming tea cakes. Well, hey, they're about done. Kettles on, brews on, happy days. We'll just say hello to Mr. Cockburn Pheasant in all his glory. Hello, Arch, and a puddle. I don't know how to deal with this. Well, this could be technique.
worked out the mystery behind the pews. It looks to me like they may be for family members. That's some interesting names. Oh look, there's a Saxon baby coffee. Oh. Mm. Not very yeah. nice, is it? Yeah. Made by a local stonemason. Those are quite interesting, they'd just be twigs. Yeah. See this? This is looks like a luxury one. Quilted. And you could potentially hide there and avoid the full service. See be up there, they'd never see you. There's a good view down there in the harbour. <laughs> I swear the people in black clothes. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, down there. You can really see it doing its job, can't you? You know, the waves really rough on the outskirts of the harbour and nice and smooth it. Sitting there while we're knackered. Have a seat. <laughs> we'll, we'll get up and let you have it. He looks really distinctive over there. Yeah. Peacock feathers.
Das ist ein Himmel, oder? Nee. few motorhomes parked up in this Whitby Harbour car park so there's that and a few others nearby it's surprising where they end up you can see the boats there you do stop look listen best advice ever I am. <laughs> Why not? Because I don't want to. Well, go back a different way. I want uh, an Alan Bradley moment. That were a tram. <laughs> Come here and cross it, stop being a wuss. So Dave, it's been on Hob and he's made us some spag ball. We didn't have a cre cheese grater, so we've just sliced it up nice and thin and sandwiched it between bolognese. Cracky Dave. There's no shortage of it. No. I think I might have overestimated quantity wise. Ah, I'd be right. You'll, you'll manage. Doctor, we'll discuss the conclusions later. So when you're up at Whitby Abbey, you've just got to watch a Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee film, haven't you? Just to add a bit of drama to the evening. So it's time for us to leave. Um, we've been here from since Thursday. It's Sunday morning, and we are just about to head off. Yeah, it's been really good and enjoyable. Uh, we've got some good sights, some interesting sights, really, some bizarre sights too. And uh, we've enjoyed our, our stay here. The, the Whitby Brewery's been absolutely brilliant. We've really enjoyed the, the beers we've, we've had from there. And we've got out of breath on the 199 stairs a couple of times. So what more do you need, really? We had some good fish and chips in the town from Pappas. And the special that were well priced at 6.29. And I'd recommend it. We've really enjoyed our weekly stay, and we look forward to sharing another adventure with you. So don't forget, like and subscribe to see more of our adventures as we do them.